Hey, it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers, and I'm here for a weekly update of what I sold on eBay for the week of December 18th through the 24th, 2017. First, I sold a Lego Classic Space All-Terrain Vehicle Model 6927. I've sold a few of these in the past couple weeks. Pulled them out of a bin that I picked up at a garage sale, so uh, put the sets together and sold this one for $39.99. I paid about a dollar for it. $8.72 in shipping eBay PayPal fees in total for a profit of $30.27 and it took two weeks to sell. This is ISDA & Co. It's a Nordstrom's brand, their house brand, women's purple zip front sweater for some reason, I keep getting a lot of these from the consignment store that I am working with. Anyway, this one sold for $12.50. I collected shipping from them, so uh, I got $18.45 total. I paid about a dollar because when I collect stuff from the consignment store, the local consignment store, I end up paying about a dollar an item. $7.95 for shipping and fees for a total profit of $9.50 and it took two weeks to sell. These are some vintage Carhartts. I had a bunch of these and this is the last pair and they have these oak leaf buttons. Let's see if I can go in and show you but those are that's how you know they're kind of older. They have suspenders on them. This was a larger size so this was size 42 and I don't know if they're if that's part of it but I also know that there was a union label in them. Whenever you see a union label like this, crafted with pride, um, you know that it was made in the United States and they're, they're older because I do believe they're made somewhere else now. These sold for $34.99. I collected shipping, so $41.04 was the total on that. They paid $0.25 cents for this at an estate sale. eleven sixty seven for shipping and fees for a total profit of $29.12 and they took seven months to sell. This was a cancellation. I was pretty psyched because this was going to make my week, but they canceled. They said they had it in their cart. Uh, I don't know what happened. So anyway, I relisted it, uh, but it did cost me $2.91 in fees that I don't know if I can get that back or not. So I included it. Mustache mug. This has, and I think this is not an old one. This is just kind of a cutesy one. So this has that thing, I think, so you can hold your brush. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but anyway, it was pretty cute, and it had this little winter scene on it, and it sold for $19.99. I paid about $0.50 cents for it at a thrift store, and I know one in shipping and fees for a total profit of $10.48. It took 18 months to sell. This is a lot of kitchen knives. I picked these up at thrift stores for like $0.10 cents a piece, and I actually had picked these up for my nephew for his apartment, and He's been gone for a little while now, so um, I know these have been sitting around for a while. I did have a 20% off sort of clearance. Anything that was like six months or older, I think, I put on 20% off. $15.99 is what they sold for. I spent about $0.50 cents on all five of the knives. They, they weren't anything remarkable at all. Um, $6.52 for shipping and these for a total profit of $8.97 and it took 22 months, almost two years to sell. This is an Apple remote. I can't even remember. I think I picked it up at, yep, I picked it up at a garage sale. $7.99 is what it sold for. I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. $3.87 for shipping and fees for a total profit of $3.12 They took and it took seven months to sell. Obviously not a high dollar item. This is a Cabela's, and this actually sold the day after they made the announcement, or there was a story on the radio or something about how Cabela's is now part of Bass Pro Shops. So uh, perhaps people are thinking that they're going to get rid of the Cabela's brand or something. I would imagine they're still going to keep it. It's a pretty well-known brand, has a good reputation. Anyway, this sold for $10, and I picked it up at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. 428 shipping and fees for a total profit of $5.22 and it took eight months to sell. This is a uh, Ty Garfield. He's holding Pookie, his little um, teddy bear 
uh, it's 16 inches. So it's, it's a pretty big stuffed animal. I used to sell a lot of stuffed animals now, not so much, but my daughter was clearing out her room and she said I could sell this. So I did 1999 is what it sold for. Didn't cost me anything. 673 in shipping and fees for a total profit of 1326 and it took a month to sell. These are vintage fondue forks. A uh, kitschy mid-century thing that just doesn't do very well for me. So they sold for $7.99. I paid a dollar for them at the thrift store. $4.03 for shipping and fees for a total profit of $2.96. It took eight months to sell. And the last thing was this broken camera. You can see by the tape right here <laughs> that it was for parts or repair. And I took lots and lots of pictures. It was also on sale. It was in banged up shape. I got it at an auction. There was there were other great cameras in that lot, so I wasn't really too worried about how much this sold for, but it did sell for $7.99. Paid about a dollar for everything in the box. It's all different kinds of photography equipment. Four forty eight in shipping and fees for a total profit of two dollars fifty one cents and it took eight months to sell. So looking at my numbers, two hundred and sixty seven forty one if uh, you include this silver bucket the silver plate bucket, but of course that didn't sell. So $189.42, $6.75. So cost of goods was phenomenal. If it had been any higher, I would have been even more in trouble. $70.17 for shipping and fees for a total profit of $112.50. So much for Q4. Uh, Amazon merch is even worse. Two shirts, $10.98 for a total profit of the week, $123.48. So it was grim. But how can you be sad? It's Christmas. That's why we have this, right? So that we can have a little happy time in this dark and cold time of year, especially here in Montana. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to be sad about it. I'm just going to keep listing and keep trying and moving forward and know that I had uh, a lot of pulls away from eBay the last couple of weeks and... Uh, I need to start focusing a little bit more. So I'm not really going to have a tip this week. Uh, I am super busy with family and events going on. So uh, I'm just going to say spend time with your family just like I did last week and enjoy the weather outside when it does get sunny and warm enough to head out there and start thinking about inventory. So maybe you don't need to list quite so much or be super productive because I'm going to start giving you tips on how to deal with what you've sold and what you haven't because every year I have things drop off and I'm always surprised. It used to be more because I didn't ever do inventory and then I would do it every couple years. Now I do it every year. I only lose one or two a year and it's probably through my error, not necessarily eBay's. So with that, I want to wish you a merry and happy holiday and a good new year and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching.